What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. I just got back from an estate sale. Um, a really cool one. And uh, I would call this estate sale one of those that would be like a BYOB estate sale. Bring your own bucket. There were bins and bins and bins of tools. And I, that's my favorite thing is when there's just a bunch of a bunch of stuff to just rummage through, you know. And uh, they had some good stuff in there that they hadn't even found. I found some stuff that was actually probably a little sort of valuable. So they were once they saw what I had, they wanted to charge me, you know, a good bit. So I paid fifty bucks for everything you're about to see. Um, they wanted sixty at first for everything in this bucket, and I talked them down to fifty. And once I got him down to 50, I was like, you know, 50 bucks is a lot, man. Like, how about you let me go pick out some hardware and we'll round out this kind of deal uh, for 50. And so that's what we did. He, uh, he let me get this. They had so much hardware. I got this little box. Um, it has like these little woodworking dowels and things like that. These are really good to have in the shop. Um, these kind of little caps and stuff. My favorite thing about this was um, all these little glass containers with tops on them. I thought this was awesome. I can make whatever I want with these. Uh, I'm going to be building some shelves. And we've been talking about small parts organization on this channel uh, a couple videos ago. And this is going to be a good shop organization thing. And there's some really good stuff. Different screws and lag bolts and... Uh, you know, good self-tapping screws, and then these big, big lag bolts. Uh, this stuff is just really good to have, and if you got to go buy it at the store, it is uh, actually kind of expensive, especially nowadays. So this was what I threw on top of everything to get really feel like I was feeling good about spending 50 bucks. So that's all the hardware. Uh, that was neat. And then I'm going to go in the bucket. So... Here was maybe the two, the two things that I thought were the coolest. Um, I went into the outbuilding. There was like a building out there that nobody could go in, could even hardly get to. Uh, there was hardly anything in there, but it was overgrown and stuff. I just figured I'd go poke in there and see what was in there. And sitting in there with a, a few other pieces of junk was this really cool little toolbox. Red Devil Tools, Irvington, New Jersey, USA. Uh, just a, and it's in pretty good shape, you know, it's not rusted out or anything. This little latch just goes like that and it works perfect. I think I'm going to take this to my desk at work in my office and just put a little few little tools in there and just let it be on my desk. I'm going to clean it up. Uh, what a cool little box. So that's really cool. And the other really cool thing is this, you would call this a uh, jeweler's vice, I guess. It'll go like on a countertop or whatever. It's in really good shape. The paint is in really good shape and everything. And this is a uh, Stanley Defiance 1207 Vice. These are selling for like 40, 50 bucks on eBay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. Maybe I will. I, I haven't decided. It's in really good condition. Uh, so I think I could probably sell it for 50 bucks or something on eBay. And that would pay for this whole haul. So, you know, that is cool. But really cool, I, I kind of want to take it to work and put it on my desk, you know, just to have a little vice just for fun, you know. Um, I get really bored sitting at that, at that desk. <laughs> so uh, half of my job is at a desk a lot of the time now, and I am going out and working still, but, you know, I kind of want to customize the desk. A couple cool things for there. I just thought these two things were awesome, and uh, so it, made, it helped made it work. You know, 50 bucks is a lot for me to spend. But uh, I got a bunch of cool things, very unique things at this sale, along with some stuff I see all the time. Here is something that I haven't looked up yet. This is a rusty uh, kind of caliper thing, but it works still pr very, very well. Uh, you kind of, you can, I guess you can kind of, like, there's my, the measurement of my finger there. This goes in there and tightens on it. So you can keep it at that measurement. Uh, 
you know, old machinist tools, this is a Starrett brand. Now, if you're ever at these estate sales, look for that name right there. L.S. Starrett or just Starrett, Massachusetts. Um, these go for a lot. Like, I mean, I don't know if this does, but like I sold a square that I found that was a Starrett square uh, for like, I think I sold it for 70 bucks the other day. So um, this is the type of thing to look for. I haven't looked it up yet. It's a really cool old tool that I'll probably never use. So if it's worth something, I might sell it on eBay. Here are some really cool uh, tape measures. I just, I, I got, I, I have plenty of tape measures, but these were so cool, I just wanted them. This is a 20 foot Craftsman. I don't know if this is a USA made one or not. It doesn't say where it's made on it. But it, uh, it comes out and locks like this. And it's got the good markings and stuff. It's really a, a good tape measure. And then it's got this, you know, like they sell the Stanley lever locks now. Uh, this works perfect still. And uh, I just thought this was a cool tape measure, 20 foot, you know. And then this one was really neat. 16 foot uh, Evans king size, made in the USA. It's a heavy, like, brick of a 16 foot tape measure. And it's locking too, so it's like this, and then you press this button in, and it locks. So, just two cool tape measures. Like, <laughs> I just thought they were really cool. Unique stuff, like stuff you don't see at all estate sales, you know. Uh, that's what I, what I liked about this one. So, and then a lot of cool stuff here. So, uh, this is... I don't know what that brand is, Compton U set, Compton, I don't know, but it's a long pair of scissors. That's all it is. Still very sharp, but I just like that idea of having some long scissors in the shop. So I got them. Threw them in. Here's some really good screwdrivers. The Stanley 100 Plus. Um, the ones that say Stanley 100 plus on them. This is a beast of a flathead. Look at that bolster and that big flathead. Y'all know I love my, my flathead screwdrivers. Um, these are very similar to those Bonnie ones. In fact, I think Stanley made the Bonnie ones that I had in that one tool haul with the Kennedy toolbox because that one flathead looks just like this. And this number three Phillips looks very, very similar to this number three Phillips. And they also have these uh, markings on here, not in the same place. They're not exactly the same, but still very similar. I don't know which one I like more. But now that gives me, I, know I had this sitting on the bench, this one. I got, I'm starting to get a set of these 100 plus ones. Uh, these are really, really nice screwdrivers. I even have a, uh, a little, pocket 100 plus so you know that might be a, it's good to have sets when you want to sell stuff on eBay so maybe someday I'll sell it on eBay I'm not really sure if I want to or not because I love like this big flathead is just awesome like that's a good one so I don't know if I really am or am going to sell it or not but these were the three that I got at the sale just to keep it legit here those three really good screwdrivers um, I got here's the good side here's the bad side this whole thing's gonna look beautiful soon another USA made DeWitt Nebraska Peterson vice grips I don't have the 10 inch flat jaw ones yet uh, or I didn't until now I do I had I've got uh, I found a couple pairs lately of these 10 inch ones look how pretty they are these were horrible when I got them but the curved jaws so now I have the straight jaws too super cool good stuff and then I've been finding some of these ratcheting wrenches other places this is a uh, craftsman USA, Sears Craftsman made in the USA, uh, ratcheting dog bone kind of wrench offset. 
it needs to be greased, but um, this might be an eBay thing. Somebody might want these. And then this one is a Proto, and uh, this one feels really, they, they feel good and solid. They need to be greased too, but half inch by 9 16 and I just love half inch by 9 16 stuff. Uh, like having both of those. I just think it's really good to have those. They're, they're useful in all kinds of applications. Um, this one I might keep. But just cool. Cool ratcheting wrenches, you know. And then I got a couple other really neat wrenches. Here is a rusty SK 21 millimeter. Uh, this is going to go in the wrench roll after I clean it up. Go on, I need some more metric, so that's a good one. Here is a the Super Wrench. This is a Williams Super Wrench. Um, a real, probably really old one. Just interesting kind of offset, uh, different angle wrenches. This is a 11 16 by 9 16 I think this is probably a pretty old wrench. Good little restoration project wrench. Both of those are. And then, dun, 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 snap on 13 millimeter. Pulled this out of a just big bin full of junky wrenches. Snap on 13 millimeter is going to go in the roll. My first snap on wrench uh, that I found recently. Um, I don't have any snap on combination wrenches until now. And a 13 millimeter is a useful one. So that's awesome. I was so stoked when I found that. Got some cool stuff in here still, wrench-wise. Uh, here's a 8-inch Crescent Tool Company, Jamestown, New York, made in USA. Pretty good shape. Um, I'm getting a, a good set. I just found a 6-inch on the last tool haul, too. So, that this one right here is not a Crescent. So this one will be a crescent, and I'll have 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4 crescent wrenches. So that's a good find. Almost done with the wrenches. Hold on a second. I found these two Herve wrenches. And uh, I'll check and see once I clean these up what they're going for on eBay. Um, they're both made in USA. This one actually, oh yeah, this is a Billings. Um, 7 sixteenths by 3 eighths. And this is, says made in USA on it. Drop forge, 3 quarter by 13 sixteenths. I'm not seeing a brand name, but, you know, I might just keep these. I probably will. Just keep them as a set. You know, try and find the rest of the standard size curve wrenches like this because having different wrenches A is really cool and useful to have different sizes and different shapes because that one time you need it you'll have it and also it's just fun as, fu as hell to collect these so. so here is a little wrench and I just threw it in there I thought it was interesting I don't even really know what that says um, but I figured it probably is old and it's just it's just a cool I've never seen one that adjusts quite this way I don't think so I'll clean it up and it's just neat you know that's all the wrenches oh I lied I found a bunch of these uh, little midgets here 5 sixteenths by 9 30 seconds. They're all made in USA. There's an Indestro. Another Indestro. A little Craftsman. Um, almost a full set of these little wrenches. They're all made in the USA. So, that's cool. Here's a little clamp. A little made in USA clamp. I like these little C clamps. Here's an SK socket, 11 sixteenths deep, 3 eighths. And then another one of these screw holding uh, screwdrivers, the flathead kind. This one's in good shape. Klein tools, uh, really cool. Chicago, USA. 
looks really like better than the one I got in that other tool haul, if you remember. So that's neat. Here is a Stanley Handyman level. I just thought this was a cool level, so I got it. Some of this stuff is going to have to go away, get sold, whatever. Uh, I thought this was neat, just a little drill, like T-handle drilling kind of thing. I don't know. I thought I might use it, actually. This is a great little Vaughn uh, nail puller. This I'll throw in, in my carpentry kit and use. This is just a really cool little nail puller. Vaughn is just nice USA stuff. I threw... I'm going to have to try and... I might restore this. This is just... It's got little crimpers on it and, and stuff. I think this might be junk, but... Gardener and Bender, I think is what that says. G and B. Uh, little needle nose with crimpers and little strippers. Here is one of the best things I found. A 6-inch M. Klein and Sons. I will restore this and make these little linesman's pliers usable again. And they're really in pretty good shape. They're just rusty. The, the cutting edges are still sharp. The teeth are still good. This is really cool little tiny lineman's pliers. Uh, little six inch ones, really neat clines. And the handles are even still in really good shape. This is awesome. And then I got these just as a little restoration project, just as a little like practice one. Uh, they got cool little handles. These are Pexto, made in USA. Little six inch linesman's pliers. Um, I'm just going to try and fix them up and make them look good because it'll be good practice. They're cool little ones. And then, same here. These are just little cutters and they are completely locked up almost. Uh, but they say Jamestown, New York, Crescent Tool, Crescent Tool Company. Uh, I'm going to try and get them working good. I say Crest Alloy on them. I just think they're cool. So... I'm going to restore these two. And then another restoration project. Uh, channel lock 420s. Back when they used to have these, you know, it was forged in here saying that. Now it's, and they got, they kind of laser etch it or something now. But uh, I'm going to restore these two. Maybe even put some handles on it. Who knows? But. The teeth are still sharp and, you know, they're savable. So I'm going to save these. And uh, we'll talk about it in the in future videos. I'm getting, now that we're right near the end. Oh, there's one more thing. Really cool little Craftsman USA tiny, tiny flathead. Y'all know I love my tiny flatheads. So that's it. That's the haul. Um... Now that we're at the end of this video, I'm hiding this at the end. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for uh, when I get to a thousand subscribers because I'm getting close. Currently, when I'm talking right now, and I mean, it might change when I release this video, I'll have more, but right now I think I've got 816 subscribers. Uh, which is just incredible. Like I can't believe that I have that many. I just it's blowing my mind that I'm getting close even to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That's just, it's saying that out loud is crazy. But I was thinking about maybe doing a giveaway. I don't know a lot about doing giveaways on YouTube, so I'm not going to make any promises. Uh, I'm, Y'all know I'm just kind of like winging this thing. I just, I just make videos in my shop and, and, you know, try to do the best I can. But I was thinking of putting together a toolkit of vintage tools and putting it in one of my vintage toolboxes that I find that I've found or maybe one that I'll find in the future here soon and uh, making that as a giveaway for a thousand subscribers so if you guys think that's a cool idea um, le let me know in the comments and uh, that's all I'm gonna say about it for now I'm not I'm not gonna make any promises other than that I'm thinking about doing a thousand subscriber giveaway of vintage tools and 
uh, let me know if you guys think that would be a good idea or if you'd be interested in that. So anyway, and th just, you know, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really thank you. Um, it means a lot. It's been a lot of fun. And, you know, like I always say, we're just getting started. And if you, if you haven't watched a lot of the videos and you're into this type of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we do this all the time. <laughs> you know, we talk about tools and I go get the coolest stuff I can to show you guys and you know we talk about new tools and how how we use tools and whatever we're not just vintage tools but uh, that's what I really have been having a lot of fun doing lately so this was a fun haul and uh, thanks for watching